Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ooh Sunday's podcast. I'm Megan. And I'm Haley. Happy episode and 10. Episode 10, we totally didn't just boost the beginning because Megan didn't. hit the wrong button. I didn't go boink. <laughs> <laughs> That one bit. No boinks at all during the beginning of that. <laughs> oh, but we should allow the boinks into our our moinks. brains. Boinks in the boinks. Oh my uh, gosh, I could get a free birthday Baja Blast. Can you? At Taco Bell? <laughs> yeah, at Taco Bell. Oh, I'm sad that Sorry, I I just that. got an I just got an email notification that's like, celebrate your birthday. Celebrate. With your boy Dave and Taco Bell, if we bought her best, if we bought her best, tomorrow's your boy day. Tomorrow is my birthday. I'm one day closer to dying. Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah, brother! Okay, what did I have on my list for today? My listicle. Um, noting yeah, that I don't know. You said that you had all of it planned out, so I kind of did. Thought of nothing. That's fine. I kind of wanted to talk, because it's our 10th episode, it's a milestone for us. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to talk about the difficulties of having a podcast that no one uh, really talks about there. I mean, people do talk about the difficulties of having a podcast. But I want to talk about mine. <laughs> this Let's is talk my... about the true difficulties. Um, Not these fake liberal media propaganda difficulties. Yeah. Like, besides, like, thinking of topics... Editing is a nightmare sometimes. Like, I, especially if you don't pay for an editing software, like, I'm using just a free-to-use editing software. And Mm. sometimes it's just a fucking nightmare. Also, because if you guys notice, if you actually listen to every episode, which I know everyone did not, and that's fine, I will just accept it as a fact. (laughs) But there are some bits where I go, Oh, yeah, I'll edit that out. Uh, and obviously I didn't because you can hear that. <laughs> so it's like, sometimes you just forget. When you're just two people with a with a microphone, sometimes it's you don't uh, do that. Also, when I was using my Chromebook... When you're just two people... When you're just two people... Uh, uh, when you're just two people and only one person is doing 95% of the work. But to be fair... I told you, you don't have to do anything. You did. You did. I told you I enjoy doing this. It's just that it gives me something to do. It gives me less time to think about everything else in my life. Bonk. (laughs) Sorry, I picked up my water cup. (laughs) (laughs) It hit my shelf. (laughs) Listen, I, it's professional to take a drink of water. I gotta be hydrated. I know. My favorite bits of the episodes are when I hear uh, Haley go, and I can hear him munching and crunching. <laughs> I'm not a professional. I'm sorry. <laughs> Something about being in front no. of my desk just makes me hunkies. <laughs> I'm chewing on my keys. <laughs> I personally I'm eating love the keyboard. It. I'm nom nom. But, like, when we're together, I feel like I get, like, ten times more hungry. You know what I mean, though? Like, when I'm near you, I'm, like, ten times more hungry. Maybe it's the endorphins. Damn. Happiness. I'm just trying to make everybody gain weight. (laughs) No. (laughs) You... (laughs) But, um, when I was using my Chromebook, uh, which I sadly can't use right now because I don't have the proper charger for it. I'm currently using Taylor's laptop. It did not have... Chromebook is dead. Chromebook dead. But I didn't have editing software on the Chromebook. I had to figure out how to do it with... uh, On Canva. (laughs) And that's difficult. And that's not meant to edit things. It's meant to edit pictures. (laughs) But, um... Not not edit sound. No, and that's what I was doing for like a little bit of it. And that's why it was a pain in the ass. But uh, don't do that, everyone. Just go on your phone and get a fucking... Also, apps for editing sound? Awful. There's no good ones. 
Even if you pay for them, they're bad. Um, TikTok is very little help for promo unless you pay real American dollars. And who wants to pay real American dollars for anything in this economy? No. And even then it sucks. <laughs> because people will see it, sure. People will like it. No one's going to listen to this podcast. <laughs> Some people have. No, no, no. But I mean from TikTok. Uh, yeah, probably not. Because they like their short form content. Um, but YouTube actually does do an okay job at getting it out there, surprisingly enough. Um, like I said, uh, our last episode, because I had posted two episodes on YouTube at a time, both of them ended up getting at least three, two to three views, which is, which is good. Um, but what about you, Miss Haley? Even though... You don't really do much of the work. I still think you put your opinion in there. I'm not saying that as a git. I'm saying that as in like... (laughs) I know, it's just funny. (laughs) But I... I, That's like, did I tell you the other day that um, one of my coworkers, we were talking about, um, you know, the one coworker that we both love that we had a group chat with where we would send him TikToks? Oh, yes. And he said I was too depressing. Yes. Um, Well, another coworker said that if the group chat coworker and I dated that the group chat coworker would um unalive himself what because i'm um what did it, what did what did he say i'm too much i'm too emotional Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> And then he turned, I started laughing and I was like, damn, I have that effect on people. What the fuck? Do you want to off yourself being in an office with me? And he was like, he was like, no, no, I I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it as like a bad thing. And I was like, you just told me that I would make somebody want to express ship themselves to God. I. How am I not? How am I supposed to take that as a not insult? Yeah, exactly. Why would he say that? (laughs) What in his wrong mind made him say that? (laughs) What the fuck? I, yeah, I don't know. It was just really, it was funny. I didn't tell you about that? No. That's crazy, because this is like two weeks ago now. Oh my god. But would you like to add something to the topic? (laughs) Yeah, to the topic at hand that I can never speak on. Um, no, I... Sometimes when I'm really tired, (laughs) it's hard to want to get on here. (laughs) Thanks. Sometimes I'm just, I'm so tired. Thanks for the input, For working my real job all day. You're so right. (laughs) I'm trying to be sleep maxing right now. I feel that. I feel that for real, for real. <laughs> but no, I mean, I think <sighs> podcasting is one of those things that is unfortunately easy, which is why everybody does it, especially mm-hmm. for the people that don't have to do any of the technical work Yee. like me. Because I, I don't understand that shit. I may be a 23 year old. For now. But I don't understand technology. I... I'm a boomer. (laughs) Haley's my boomer. And I (laughs) go go in and I go, uh, I do the work to get it done so that we can have fun later on. Like I I show up to... I show up to chew and drink things all while you can hear them. She's my boomer. Stupidly good... And when we have a fi- when we have video footage, she's gonna have her camera where it's like underneath her chin, and she's gonna go, "Can you see me? <laughs> can you see me, honey? Can you see me?" Actually, you're only gonna be able to see my forehead. So real. And I'm gonna go, "Can you see me?" Or like your nose. Just have your nose right in the camera. Yeah, you're gonna see right up my nose. I can't you, do that. We I are gonna be using there. FaceTime apparently um, to record oh, any video yeah. footage. Fuck but yeah. um I I do the stuff so that when we come on here we can have a good time. That's it. 
I enjoy doing it because I know that later on, when we record again, we can have a good time. <laughs> and I like having a good time <laughs> with yeah. my friend Haley. <laughs> I like having a good time with my friends. I do. Uh, hot take. I enjoy spending time with my friends. Hot take. Now, <laughs> are we done with the topic of... Um... Of, of, of podcast? Yeah, I mean, I really don't have much else to add. Other than, like, maybe it's difficult to think of things to talk about every week. But yeah, we do that's fine. that's the only issue. Yeah, we, we ramble. We do. If it's one thing I'm good at, it's rambling. I think that's why we started the podcast, really. Yeah. It's because we realized we were really good ramblers. We're rambling, We're good man. ramblers. <laughs> and like most other men, we went, our conversations are funny. We should record them. We're really funny. It's us in the Wendy's We're parking really lot. We're funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was us. In it's the, the unfortunate truth. We're fucking funny. <laughs> We're hilarious. We should record Ooh. these. Hello <laughs> and welcome Ooh. to the career fair, where this I talk about sound. weird jobs in the medieval times. And this Haley has to guess career fair what they are. Woo! It's the medieval. That was a different tune. What? Is it a medieval job? Yes. Oh. Oh my god! I... You're so good. Thanks. Um, you have to guess what the job is. Instead oh, of great guessing how much, I'm going to tell you the name of this job, and you have to guess what it is. Okay. And I'm starting off strong. The job okay. for today's medieval career fair. Piss right. profit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Belle Delphine? Yes. Piss profit. <laughs> Haley, tell me. Piss profit. Okay, I'm gonna assume that it's profit as in, like, somebody that saw a message from God and not profit as in cash. Yes, you would be correct. Okay. <sighs> Piss profit. Realistically, this is, it's pretty straightforward. I just love the name. <laughs> is it somebody that like deciphers messages from your pee? No. It would what? be a message of sorts. What's the piss? Maybe a message that your body is sending. <laughs> oh, are they but, just like a doctor? Yeah. <laughs> They're just what? a doctor. They're a doctor that diagnoses patients by sight, smell, don't and tell, taste don't dare tell me <laughs> of your <laughs> oh. yeah icky Ooh. that's yucky that's it gross is. but this was <laughs> medieval career fair thank you for playing <laughs> holy shit uh, <laughs> this is a different one you say a different one. I did have like an actual career fair this week, but I was like, I'm gonna run out of jobs real quick. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta, I gotta take this one out back and shoot it. Yeah, listen, there are so many jobs in this world. Yes, there are. There are not so enough jobs weird jobs. Existed. Oh, you just gotta go searching. Yeah, I do. I really gotta get get in deep, get into that Reddit. That Reddit 50-50 of jobs. Yeah, like weird medieval jobs. Yes. Reddit 50-50 should not be allowed. No, it shouldn't. Um, I remember when we were when we were once ye ch children and I was at your house. With unsupervised internet access. With unsupervised internet access. And we were doing Reddit 50-50, but we never got anything bad. At least I didn't. No, we were so scared, though. Oh yeah, just the thought of something bad happening had us shaken in our pants. Shaken in our boots. It's shaken. like logging onto Omegle and hoping that you don't see anybody's schlong. <laughs> yeah. I, I gladly only did the texting portion of Omegle. God bless. Uh, I have so many unfortunate memories with Omegle. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have heard. Now, I want to talk... <sighs> About, um, have you ever heard of Dumois? 
Dumois. Yeah. No, I don't think so. So Dumois is a, they're an anonymous celebrity gossip account run by one person, but they repost, um, like, other people's anonymous tips, quote unquote. So they could be true, but I'm going to say mm. most of the time they are not. It's just the goss. Um, but the goss. You... this is actually my alt account. <laughs> I hope not. Um, but I do say that it's made up only because they do all this for clicks and likes, especially the story that I'm about to share about Miss Taylor Swift, because I do have to bring Taylor Swift Oh, in. I knew it was going to be Taylor Swift. <laughs> yes. Um, and she posted about Taylor Swift's last re- relationship with Joe Alwyn before she was with Mr. Travis Kelsey. And Dumois mm-hmm. was saying that Taylor Swift miscarried, and that's why Joe broke up with her. And obviously, for the obvious reason, you should never assume that or say that to the public, even if it is true. Um, Mm -hmm. Taylor's PR rep, whose name is Tree, directly responded to this and said, Dumois needs to knock her shit off. (laughs) Now, I want to tell you (laughs) so much about Miss Tree, Taylor Swift's PR rep. Um, oh, yeah, I knew something had to happen because I saw a tweet that was like, um, you may work hard, but nobody works harder than Taylor's PR, whatever. Yes. And then it was something because... about being up at 3 a.m. <laughs> but Taylor's PR rep does not publicly mention things unless it, like, absolutely needs to happen. And if she thinks something good will come out of it. Because the last time she mentioned something publicly, like on Twitter was during the Kanye Kim, like, phone situation. And there was going to be a lawsuit that didn't come to fruition, but there was going to be a lawsuit. And people are thinking that Dumois, this anonymous celebrity gossip account, is going to get sued by Miss Taylor Swift herself. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's one thing to say, like, Oh, these people broke up because that's what I'm saying. Taylor wasn't good at something, but it's another thing to be like, "Oh yeah, she miscarried." Uh huh. And it, people were saying because this last these last couple weeks, a lot of things about her ex Joe Alwyn have been coming out like very rapidly. So people were speculating that uh, something had to have Joe's happened behind it. Yeah, basically. I don't believe that only because. It, it it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem like something he would do. He's always been very, like, secluded. Like, he doesn't like talking about himself. He doesn't like talking about anyone else. He likes to be in a yeah, corner. Yeah, but men are like that. They'll change so quick. They could. Which is, But I don't want to speculate that because that's also harmful if that's not true. But, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Dumois was upset that Taylor's rep called her out. And people were like, why? Like, this is what you live for. You live for, like, attention, the drama, all of this shit. And yeah, it doesn't make sense. you're getting what you asked for. Literally. It, you're getting attention from them herself. Um, but... I just want to talk about the weirdness of profiting off celebrity trauma and downfalls because Tree in her post said that like you can't keep profiting uh cuz uh, off of uh people's trauma and stuff like that. And I just, you know, I want to talk about because I remember last year during the football season uh one of the players almost died on the field. I don't know if you remember this. Vaguely. Vaguely? Well, um, he, like, went into cardiac arrest, I believe, and the- Oh, yeah, and wasn't he, like, super young? Yes, he was super young. He went into cardiac arrest. He almost died. He literally- I think he did die on the field, basically, they said. He just, you know, they resuscitated him. And, 
uh, the news broadcasters, like ESPN, kept replaying it and replaying it and replaying it. And I just don't think that's correct. Yeah, which is fucked up. It's fucked up. I think no, when it, you're putting the family through that, that's like everything yes. that TMZ does. Yes. They're putting the family through it. They're putting fans through it. They're traumatizing viewers. They're profiting off of someone's literal death. Um, I think injuries are the same way. I feel like when players get really injured, I don't think they should be doing replays of an injury. I don't think it's important. I don't think it has anything to do with the game. And um, same way with like TMZ profiting off of trauma, you know? Like they TMZ themselves profit yeah, like off the of trauma. Yeah, the fact that TMZ knew <clears throat> that um who was the basketball player that died, Kobe? Yes, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, the fact that they knew before his wife did. Yeah. Yeah. Is and they and they announced him. And along with Dumois, Dumois also has said that Taylor and her ex Joe had gotten married and then divorced, and I said if you had if you knew that, you would have the proof cuz TMZ always posts about divorce and because they have because divorce records are public i would know that because in pennsylvania if you get divorced or married it's in the newspaper and you can't stop it from being yep. in the newspaper which is so, silly it is what silly witness protection yeah I, well you'd be under a different <laughs> name i guess if you were in probably witness and i wouldn't be in pennsylvania no but like all of that stuff is very very public so if they had gotten married and divorced, you would know. TMZ would have already said something about it. Yeah. But I feel like publicizing someone's divorce, because that's how we knew about uh, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner, is because yeah. Sophie Turner didn't even know that Joe was filing for divorce until TMZ broke the news. Like, Which is a crazy way to find out. It's oh, a crazy yeah. way to find out anything just going onto Twitter. Oh, yeah. Like, no one should ever find out via news sources. I feel like there has to be, like, I, even for, like, normal citizens, there needs to be, like, a backlog. You know what I mean? Like, something. Or communicate yeah. more. Or don't, or, like, police officers shouldn't be telling news sources about deaths before their family. I don't know. No, honestly, police officers. But they're all um, trying to get their buck. Stop. Their Which quick is buck. Crazy. Wasn't there was a? I don't remember who it was, but there were police officers like taking. Fo oh, was it the guy from Pennsylvania who had escaped prison, and then the police officers were taking photos with him? Yeah, they took like four weeks to find him. Yeah, and then they were taking selfies with him. I mm -hmm. think we talked about this on the podcast. Did we? Oh my god, it's we been too long. Have. Because I don't remember, but yeah, there was that. Like, there are so many instances of people who should not be, well, it's like, what is it called? Like, too much power in one place, you know? Like, I don't think news sources should know about people's deaths. Like, I feel like the trauma of it all, not good. No, not at all. Especially because, like... Yeah, they're celebrities, but they are still entitled to a level of privacy. Yeah, I think everyone in the world is entitled to a level of privacy, except for maybe government uh, officials. Like, like, I feel like their family is obviously allowed to have their privacy, but I feel like people who are representing states and country... Oh yeah, they themselves. I mean... <clears throat> Honestly, no, because if we're if we're paying their, we pay their salaries. Mm -hmm. We pay for them to furnish their offices. Yes. We pay them for to do fuck fuck all. Yep. Everything they do should be a matter of public record. Where oh, they're yeah. going, how much they're spending. Oh yeah. What they're making. Mm -hmm. Like it should Personally, never be a secret. No, I think anybody that works in. A government office, sorry, anything like politically, mm -hmm. but specifically Congress, um, anybody in like federal government, if you are a state representative or a country representative, you should be making the minimum wage in your state. Oh, yeah, because it would give them more incentive to raise the minimum wage. And we wouldn't have all these fucking corrupt politicians up there. It would mm -hmm. just be people that actually want to help. Yep. 
I just don't feel like um because I know we put in Congress that you they choose their wage, but it's supposed to be like something or other where it won't affect them, but it does because they keep getting voted into office one way or another. Yeah. So it does affect them and therefore they're never going to leave because they keep getting paid, even though they keep getting paid even when they're not in office. Which is fucking stupid because yeah. I don't get paid when I don't go to work. Yeah, no. If you want a vacation for fucking 30 days. Mm -hmm. But even when they're taken out of office, they still get paid the same amount they were getting paid. Like, even when you retire. That's crazy. And I and just... I think it's stupid. any of them that... Yeah, a lot of things about fucking oh, yeah. politics and government is stupid. I think if you vote no to universal free health care, then their health care should be taken away. Oh, yeah. They should not because be getting Because they get free health care. Uh-huh. None of them should. They shouldn't be getting fucking anything for free. No. They... I mean, they should definitely be paying more, considering it's going to go... To the people. Like. Yeah. But they don't care about the people. They only care about They, co they care about the lobbyists themselves. and the corporations that are lining their pockets. Oh, yeah. What about if I bomb <clears throat> them? Bomb them. I've been making a lot of bomb them. threats recently. I think the government would love that. I think they would, too. I, I think they're going to listen to this and go, oh, my God. Hey guys, listen to this. I don't think this. they're going to listen to this. No, they're going to specifically listen to this. Because there's no- this is going to be the only recording, but it's just me saying I've been making a lot of bomb threats. <laughs> Who am I making the bomb threats to? No one. Nobody important. I don't know how to- I have a girl brain. I can't make a bomb. No bomb. All I, I, I know us. is cook, clean, and crochet. <laughs> cook, clean, crochet. My three C's. <laughs> My but three C's, I, I did and even say... the crochet is iffy. Yes. But, um, last episode I did say to the police that I would never kill anyone because I feel guilty. Same goes for this one. For me, at least. Yeah, I would never, I would never actually bomb somebody. Um, napalm is a different story. Napalm? Oh, well, napalm's really easy to make, too. It's just styrofoam it and nail polish It is very remover. easy to make. Yeah. It's too easy, maybe. Maybe they shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Maybe change yeah. the, what styrofoam made Honestly, maybe out you of. shouldn't have released. Maybe you shouldn't have made a recipe book <laughs> for your war crimes. It's like when you're in like a P or like health class and they teach you how to make cocaine. <laughs> yeah, like all those anti-drug videos we had to watch that just teach you how to set up a meth lab. They're like, we put like, oh, I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes on this, and all not it's the like, kind you think I should be though. It's funny when we had to hand our notes in to our teacher. It would be funny if someone just wrote down the recipe for cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Today in class, this is what I learned. I learned how to make crack. <laughs> Maybe some meth. I learned how to make crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. Now, I also have on our topic list... Our agenda. New Year's resolutions. Woo! Oh, because it's almost that time. Yeah, it is. Um, I have a couple. I'll, I don't know if I should, I should start with my, my real one and then do my silly one. <gasps> and not your fake one? My wait, wait, wait. One. No, I think you have to, you should tell me both and you should let me guess. You're going to guess which one? No, it's not a fake one. It's a silly one. Well, yeah, but does it sound believable? No. <laughs> oh, well then give me two potential real ones and let me guess what you really want to do. Uh, I want to start getting used to being alone with myself. This was my, my serious one. Um, Aww, I thought and we it, were gonna play the game. No, I don't know what I don't know how to do that game because you I don't. You just tell me two things. You just think of another thing. Think of another. Th think of another thing. A fake. I'll thing? do it with you. Don't. Worry. Okay. Yeah. I, my brain don't work. We're do. We're gonna be doing two truths and a lie later on with my oh. other segment. Okay. <laughs> so I. Okay. Wink, wink. Guys, I don't know anything that's supposed to be going on on a podcast basis. I just show up. Tell me, Megan literally you do, does it all. You do two truths and a lie. Do it for my New Year's resolution. Yeah, I haven't thought of them. Aw, I could think of some though. Don't you worry. I'll I'll tell about um, talk about mine while you think yeah, of yours. So your serious one is you want to be comfortable with being by alone with your thoughts. Yes. Um. 
And I, I also put, as much as I want companionship, I don't want it at the loss of my own sanity. <laughs> oh, so true. Um, I also put, go hiking more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we do say all the time we're going to go hiking and then we never do. Two years ago, we were hiking like every fucking weekend. Yeah. I miss that. Should we just start going in the middle of the winter? Yeah, why not? Honestly. Other people do it. We'll just get tennis rackets for our shoes. Yeah, I like that idea. I just want to go. I like hiking. I like being outside in the woods where the bears could get me. In nature. In nature. Um, I also Well, they put, shouldn't get you in the winter. No, they're hibernating. But they might get angry if they see you if you wake them up. But, um, I also, for this is my silly one. Well, hibernation isn't just solid sleep. No, because they have to eat. Silly one. But make the Seinfeld theme yeah, song. Yeah, they still, they still wake up. It's just they're, like, groggy. Yeah. Make the Seinfeld theme song my number one listen to song Make on the Spotify. Seinfeld. Oh, you just have to listen to it on repeat while you're asleep. Yes. I will make it my number or one song. Or do you song. want it to consciously be? What do you mean consciously? Do you want it to consciously be your number one song? No, I want it to do be my number one song. Do you want it to? You, you're conscious. You're listening to it. Oh yeah, I'm going to be listening to it. I, I'm telling you, Haley, when I'm at home. Because I used to. You know what? What? I was gonna say that would probably be because you know how when you're like doing tasks, you should listen to like music that's just like soundtracks, no actual words. Yeah, like the Stardew Valley soundtrack is what I listen to sometimes when I'm studying. Yeah, but maybe you just have to make it the Seinfeld Seinfeld theme. Do you want me to tell you and what just I put it on repeat? What I use the Seinfeld theme song for? Uh, yes. What do you use it for? I play it after every sad song. Because it makes it less sad. (laughs) And I've told this to both of my sisters. So now, every time I play a sad song, they look at me. Did you get this idea online? No. I didn't. I- Because I swear- I swear there's something so similar out there where I've seen a screenshot of a playlist where it's just a sad song and then a funny song and a sad song and a funny song. But the funny song is the same song over and over again. (laughs) No, because this was years ago. Years ago? I did not see this. I had come up with it on my own because I was like, nothing is funnier to me than the Seinfeld theme song. Then boom, bam, 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 or yeah, it it's so fucking hilarious, and it mixes into the ends of songs so perfectly. Like I, do you think it would mix into the end of Lucy Dacus, My Mother and I? Yes, absolutely. I put it okay. Let me. I put it to the end of a lot of Boy Genius songs because those songs make me cry a lot. Uh, Taylor Swift songs, obviously, that I cry to. I can't cry anymore to songs because all I can think of is the Seinfeld theme. There's not a single Taylor Swift song that makes me sad. I You're Losing Me is her new song, and that one makes me sob. I'm just not a Taylor Swift fan. I know I'm you're not. not. But... I, can't, I, I respect her as a person. Like, I respect the game. Actually, I don't respect her as a person, because she has yet to, you know, comment on what's currently going on with yeah. Israel and Palestine. But... Yeah, but I also don't value um... celebrity opinions. I don't, but I feel I'm conflicted on that. I'm... Because it's like on one hand you have what's his name Noah Schnapp like out. Yeah, I don't. That's why I don't value asshole. it. I don't care about them because either they're doing it. I mean, if I mean, even if you say it for publicity, you're still doing it in support of something, and more people are going to follow it. But I just don't value them. No, I do think it is something, even if she doesn't comment on it, but if she just, like, shared resources. Oh, yeah. Because I, wish... I did think, like, a lot of people in Brittany Broski's comments were like, your silence speaks words. It's you're, it's crazy yeah. that you say you're such a whatever. Like, I don't think you need to be attacking people like that because maybe, hey, it's a conflict that's been going on for forever. And yeah. there's so much history there and maybe you don't understand. And also to but the specifically point. specifically now. But the Israel government is attacking people on their instagram i know and i just don't think anyone needs to put themselves like 
okay, no, not that anyone shouldn't put themselves in harm's way because there are so many people in Palestine that are getting fucking killed for no reason at yes. all other than religion. Um, and it just, it's really hard because, like, in my mind, ev- the internet's a thing. People are talking and speaking on it. People, civilians are speaking on it. And if you can't look at a civilian saying what's happening, um, and so many of them in large, and say, oh, this is bad, then I don't know what to tell you. If the only thing that's going to make you give a shit is listening to a celebrity say it, then it's that's an issue, I think. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. So that's why I just, I just think so, don't value I think it. some of it is coming from a place of cowardice, though, because people oh, yeah. don't want to be hated and they don't want to lose no support and a lot of the time um i don't know it's just there's a part of me that's like uh yeah the israel government is like attacking people and pointing them out but they're still doing it but i'm also i don't know i do think she should say something in the end i do think she should say something but i just don't value the opinions of people who only think celebrities are the reason (laughs) not you but i'm saying like people who only jump on the bandwagon of celebrities who are gonna support and i don't support it i mean i don't think i don't think she should have to like she shouldn't have to give like ted talks on it no 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 but i do think you're right she she does have a lot of resources oh yeah and it's kind of the same way with isn't the israel army or like their citizens like using a song from Beyonce. Are they? I feel like I remember seeing. I did not I don't see know if it's anything. Beyonce. I don't remember. It was a TikTok, and I just saw Israeli flag, so I scrolled. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. Um, but <laughs> that's, that's like the the sensical thing. But a lot of Taylor Swift fans are already in support of Palestine. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, at least it the majority seems that like I've what seen. y'all would be. But I don't know. I guess she should. She definitely should share resources, and I feel like she did say something recently. But I know she took away the showing of. I mean, it's not much, but she took away the showing of her movie in Israel, so they can't make money mm-hmm. off of it. And um, you know, I mean, like I said, it's not much of anything. But it does, that's like the main point of her movie is to help countries profit. And they will not be. Yeah. So. I've, well, that's good. That I mean, good, it's something small, but. Yes, yeah, small, but she still needs to do like a little bit of something. Just a little thing to sprinkle in there. But your New Year's resolution. <sighs> okay. So my New Year's resolutions. I'm going to do two truths and a lie here for you. Okay. I'm ready. All right. I, in the year 2024, Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to take more time for myself, you know, get away from being on a screen all the time, like read, journal, other things like that. Just be with myself. Okay. And not have to have TikTok and YouTube and then some other form of media playing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I want to. I want to learn new skills, be open to new experiences. Okay. Maybe okay. take a couple classes. Okay. Um. Well, I'm already feeling and- like this last one's gonna be a lie. Because those two, <laughs> first two sound very. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to become the president. <laughs> well, I believe that one. <laughs> so I, think it's learned, I think it's sit without media. Who could do that? <laughs> no. Um, and thirdly, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2024. Um, I'd like to just... Uh, I'd like to have I'd like to have more control. Control? Yes, I'd like to have more control, take more accountability within myself. 
Um, well, those all sound real to me. For my actions. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. But it's none of them fake. This is too question. <laughs> Haley doesn't want to have any control or accountability over her actions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna believe that Haley had wants no control over her actions. He's gonna blame it on everyone else in 2024. <laughs> Haley's blaming everything she does on everyone I'm else. Entering my Delulu era. <laughs> oh. My credit card debt, not my fault. <laughs> That's the government's fault for it's letting the me president's. have a credit card. <laughs> Yes. Why are you letting me, as an 18-year-old, get into $10,000 worth of credit card debt? <laughs> I, is, is that the one that's a fake, or are there no fake ones? It's a trick question. I don't know. Is it a fake one? <laughs> you have to tell me. <laughs> I already answered. Uh, yeah, because see, I'm pretty in control of myself, and I'm accountable. Yeah, you already year, do that one. I'm not gonna be. <laughs> Haley's gonna go <laughs> off the damn wire. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be a public menace. Okay, you ready for the special? The special? The special. You oh, ready? does it come with a sound? It does. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Have yourself a merry little hallmark. <laughs> uh, this is a called... merry little hallmark. Yes, this is a segment I like to call "Have yourself a merry little hallmark," based off of a "My brother, my brother and me" segment that they haven't done in four years. Um, so it's ours now. I'm. I put a name on it. But they called theirs That's a Christmas to Me, and they came up with like a whole fucking song off of it's based off another song, and it's it's really good. So if you guys have the time, look up That's a Christmas to Me. There's three different uh segments that they did with this uh bit. But they haven't done it in four years. So I'm stealing it with a new name. And uh you're going to get I'm gonna give you three Christmas songs or Christmas Christmas movies. Sorry. I'm gonna give you three Christmas movies. I'm going to describe the plot, but one of them I made up on my own. <laughs> and you have to guess which one was a Megan. <laughs> okay. First, we have Noel Next Door, starring Natalie Hall and Corey Severe. Follows a single mom who gets into a war of words with a neighbor who is ruining Christmas only to find out he is a misunderstood grouch. And then we have a patched up Christmas. A fashion designer returns to her hometown as a seamstress after she finds out her designs haven't been chosen for New York Fashion Week. She joins the children's theater group to make a costume, to make the costumes, but finds herself drawn to the daring director. And I have A Kiss Met Christmas. Sarah is a children's book writer who returns to her hometown where she reconnects with her family and Travis, her teenage crush, uh, where she learns about um, her family's thing. I know there was a thing here. Where'd it go? Oh, she soon discovers that long-held family legend might be true. Okay. And one of these is not real. One of these is not real. One of these I made by okay. myself with my own little brain. Oh, okay. What was the middle one again? A patched up Christmas. A fashion designer. And that was a fashion one? Yes. A fashion designer re returns to her hometown as a seamstress. Okay. And the first one was Noelle. It was Noelle Next Door. Follows a Noelle single mom door. who gets into a war of words with her neighbor who is ruining Christmas only to find out he's a misunderstood grouch. Okay. I feel like... <sighs> see, it's difficult. I did a good job. Yay! <laughs> well, see, the middle one does not have as many words. Well, there are the more last words. One, the last one has too many words. They're actually all the same amount of words. 
They don't feel like the same amount. Actually, of words. the middle one has the most words, if anything. Uh, after she, How? It, it's the seamstress after she finds out her designs haven't been chosen for New York Fashion Week. She joins the children's theater group to make costumes, but finds herself drawn to the Darren director. Mm, okay. So Noelle next door, a patched up Christmas. And a kiss met Christmas. Or, and, and a kiss at Christmas? Kiss met Christmas. It's K-I-S-M-E-T. Kismet Chris okay okay that's a bullshit name is it now <laughs> is it the bullshit name it, regardless of who wrote it it's a bullshit name that's so fair <laughs> that's so real okay okay all right and the first one was a single mother yes Single mom who gets into a war of words with her neighbor. Yeah, and he's, you know, it's a his heart grew three sizes that day. Oh, hell yeah, it did. And the last one is a, I mean, love story. Something about your high school crush. Yes. (sighs) We got a Noel (laughs) next door, a Kismet Christmas, and a patched up Christmas. What what is your heart drawn to, Haley? <laughs> I feel <laughs> I feel like I've heard the plot for a patched up Christmas before. Have you? Maybe. <laughs> My grandfather watches a lot of Hallmark movies this My time of year. My mom does too. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think I think you wrote <laughs> oh, I'm so happy this is confusing. Because Hallmark makes bullshit movies and they push 30,000 of them do. out. Just pick and one and I'll all... tell you if you're right. Okay, okay. I think you wrote... I think you wrote A Kismet Christmas. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> Is it Noel next door, or did you wrote? I, I did wrote, you write New York Fashion Week? I wrote New York Fashion Week. I wrote a patched <sighs> up Christmas. I should have said that. I can't believe I'm so happy that it it went but well. I was. I thought it was going to be I very was, obvious. No, because I swear to you, I've seen a Hallmark movie with that exact premise or something I very similar. I love that. I love that I wrote a Hallmark movie accidentally. <sighs> That's insane. God ne- damn it. Well, next week I'll make it, um, maybe I'll be a little bit more outlandish, but I'll find more outlandish Hallmark movies. No, it's gotta, it's gotta stay the same level of difficulty. Okay. I can be outlandish, though. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. This is Hell your yeah. podcast. I'm just here. <laughs> no, it's your <laughs> podcast, too. I've got a 2% ownership stake. <laughs> Did we enjoy that segment, though? Uh, we did. We did. I'm glad. That's... Uh, <laughs> Oops. Oh. <laughs> We're having an evil time again. That was... That's a very home... Have yourself a little hallmark. Very, very... Uh, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> Have me yourself from a bit of a bit a bit of a bit of a bit of a Megan. What? I just, I went on Indeed because I got a notification and they were like, oh, we've got new jobs in your area. <laughs> and the second one is a criminal investigator with the United States Secret Service. <gasps> I want to do that. <laughs> From Ian. Hold, hold on, okay. So you need a license in top secret clearance and you need to have under skills, it says surgery. This is a fake. I need a surgery skill? That's a fake listing. Oh, it's gotta be, but it's so funny. That is fucking hilarious, though. Because the pay is only $55,214 a that, year. To have a surgery skill, you would you get paid at least like six digits 
Like I don't. I'm send. I'm sending this to you. Please, 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 please. I would love <laughs> to see her. Like I don't. I think Indeed is a scam. Indeed is definitely a scam. I you want it? I've put so many applications in, and I've mm-hmm. only received maybe like. I can count on my hand how many I've received. Like dec- declining back. Like the skill. Um, things that they do, the little skill tests they do, are bullshit. Oh, I I, I just need to. What. You need what? what? I love applying for jobs that I'm not qualified for. Too. Oh yeah, that's such a man thing to do. Okay, did I ever tell you about? Okay, you know that guy that I work with, and he's kind of annoying because he barely works. Did I tell you about him? Uh, I believe so. Yes. His name spelled backward is Mott. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, he was looking at jobs the other day. He's like, yeah, I was looking on Indeed, and they're looking for um. A prison counselor and he's like i think i'd be really good at that i'm gonna apply uh, and i'm thinking i'm like you need so many more qualifications than doing meth <laughs> like you need at least a master's degree yeah like i don't know why men think you can just uh do that <laughs> just apply to whatever Haley, I'd like to inform you, though, this has to be a real job. Because there are reviews for it. There are, which made me think, like... "Mm." Lots of reviews from, like, years back. And, like, new ones. Why? This can't be right. Mm -hmm. Um... A pizza place near you is hiring a front desk person. It might be that new place that's opening up. No, it's one that's established in by the gas station and the da- oh, oh that one. They're hiring. Yeah, I saw that on um Indeed the other day too. I've given up on looking at Indeed because Indeed, like I wanted like a remote job, and I've applied for every remote job that I possibly could. And I, I think the remote jobs are fake specifically. Oh, probably, but, like, I try. I tried. But, where are skills? You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> hey, I could go be an apartment manager at a nursing and rehabilitation center. Oh, that sounds awful. Does it? Uh the- oh, I think I know what the surgery skill is. I think it was an accident. Because uh, they s- an accident? they said that if you don't have perfect vision or anything worse than- or uh, you have to have corrected in each eye, LASIK surgeries are acceptable. So do you need to possess the skill to be able to get surgery? I guess so. That is a That's cause, so cause in, silly. In all of this, there says nothing about like surgery at all. Should I apply? Uh yeah. I should I, you could work for the Secret Service. I don't think we can have um, a podcast anymore. Nah. You wouldn't be able to have a rant about your work section. <laughs> I think I should, should be extra have a, a rant about my work section. <laughs> Talking about, God, my boss is so mean. He made me shoot a guy. You know? I think that'd be great. Yeah, I don't think the government would Kill me? have a problem with that. <laughs> what, what do you, what? Pro- providing you know we were talking about uh witness protection i really think this is this is what it is Ooh. because this is providing protection for various protectees conducting criminal investigations pertaining to financial obligations of the united states oh that sounds great oh i think you should apply you're qualified do you think they put this out here as a bait for us <laughs> 
for you and I after explicitly making threats on our podcast? Yes. No. <laughs> They're baiting us. <laughs> Not at all. I think that the this the CIA is baiting us right now. Specifically to put it in Scray and PA. That's crazy. They only make but the it's even crazier to think that they only make a little bit more than a teacher. Like they don't make that much more. Yeah. That is crazy. Like, I guess both are thre- life-threatening jobs, so. One just has a harder background check. <laughs> but. Honestly, and it's not the Secret Service. Actually, it is the Secret Service, only because you have to do a <laughs> polygraph examination. That's the lie detector test, right? Yeah. Which Those you- aren't those accurate. Aren't, like, no. Valuable. No. They're not solid. But you do if you have, have a to heart do one. condition. You're gonna look like you. They lie. do a credit check. <laughs> well, I'm not getting in. I'm not either. Apparently, <laughs> why do I need to do a credit check? I need I, you. Why have do they a- need to know how responsible I am with my money? <laughs> this is bullshit. A special agent entrance exam. Interesting. An interview. I'd fail that. Review panel. Security interview. Medical examination? Oh, that sounds iffy at best. Mm. I feel like background investigation should be the number one thing you do. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. To go all th- to go through everything that you just did and then the last thing is background examination? Or investigation? Yeah, I don't, I think, I feel like it's fake. It has to be. But there's so many reviews under this account. Like, from year. like I said, for years. Unless it was just, like, an accidental, like, oh, I thought this was the real United States Secret Service and it's actually a fake account. This is crazy. Hmm. It is. You do have to be, have a graduate level? That's crazy. Oh, but you can make up to 64000 Interesting. Hmm. Interesting jobs with Indeed. They need someone to go through everything on Indeed and weed it out. <laughs> they Maybe that should be our job. Yep. Our true job. Yep. The number one job. <laughs> Secret service. I was looking out for the number one job. I was like, I have my recent searches up and it says mortuary jobs. <laughs> Cause I was like, <laughs> Cause I was really intrigued by mortuary. You played jobs. the mortuary assistant once and then decided that could be your real job. Yes. I don't, I think I was looking at uh, mortuary cosmetic jobs. If, if that actually came up in this area does not, by the way. Oh, that's so silly. It is so silly. Maybe you need to uh, open up your own mortuarium. Mortuarium. I don't I, know what they're called. I don't either. But I think I should just work at the Dave and Buster's. <laughs> I Oh, I've been wanting to. They need a restaurant manager still. And I was like, I could apply for that. You could. And then I could work as a cook and we could be together. <laughs> together forever. Perfect. Also, the amount of car washes and pizza places that are being put in, like, there's two restaurants being put up near me, the one that I had applied for, and then one literally down the road is opening up now. Yeah. And then we have the two pizza places that's getting a third one in the area because they're changing, it's the, you know the pizza place in Moscow? Mm Mm-hmm. They are turning that one into a event hall. And they are putting one up near the, in that, like, gas station plaza that no longer is a gas station. It used to have, like, a breakfast place. Oh, by the bank. Yes. And the new tire place. Yes. Yeah. So they're putting, okay. So they're moving there. And then we have the pizza Wait, place what's... literally next door. And then they have the pizza place over there. (laughs) 
Yeah, is are they um do you know sorry, I like spaced out for a second. Is one of those restaurants you're talking about the one that used to be where the McDonald's was? No. That is being another no. tire place. Why? Because bit I can't How say many their tire names. places do we need? We have Because bitch. Because <laughs> bitch cast. Um he there, we have a bit of a rivalry in this area of our small little town, we listeners. Have a very petty rivalry. And I didn't think that it would be food because I did too, he didn't but, want another food place to be on there. Uh, he couldn't have another food place for ten years because of the uh, contract that he had signed with this specific restaurant that we are talking about. But didn't they? I thought he was the one that put that into the contract. No, because that would limit him. They did. They put that into the contract. That's so silly. I feel like it's been 10 years, though. It has been, but he's putting in a tire place because the other guy put in a tire place. Oh, is that tire place related to... Yeah. People listening are be like, what? What's the tea? What's <laughs> happening? But that play that You know that, uh, that, like, opening that they paved a road and didn't put anything in yet? Yeah, that I thought was going to be a car wash. No, it's going to be a plaza with a W E N D Y, oh. apparently, supposedly, oh. and a B A S K I N R O B B I N. I thought, I, I love that you're spelling it out as if, for our, as if the people listening to our podcast are fucking two years old and they can't spell um, it. No. It's for the AI that's going to be listening to, for the words. Oh, for and legal reasons? For legal reasons. No, the people at home could know, but... Yeah. I thought the, um... The B-A-S-K-I-N was... I thought they were partnered with D-U-N-K-I-N. See, the thing is, I've seen them paired with the T-A-C-O, B-E-L-L. I've seen them paired with varieties of things, but apparently Ooh, they're we- They're cheating. And could also be, someone said it can also be a T-A-C-O-B-E-L-L because <gasps> of the B-A-S-K-I-N. Dude, that would be so good for you. I know. I'd be so, I'd go to the gym and then get Taco Bell, which is not good, but- <laughs> You just spelled it out and then said it. <laughs> oh, whoops. AI got me. Oh, our brains are rotted. They are rotted. I I kept, okay, I hit my head at the gym. I told you this. Uh, yeah. And for some reason, it like rebooted my speaking back to, um, what is it? The, the dyslexic way that I say things. You know how I said Bon John Bovi before to my yes. sister and we remember this? Um, listeners at home, for like two minutes straight, I kept saying Bon John John Bon Jovi's name wrong. And I kept saying Bon John Bovi. And I kept saying it over and over and over and over again. And my sister was like, Megan, say his name again? I said, John Bon Jovi? She goes, no. Say it the other way to say it. I was like, what other way? And she goes, Bon John Bovi? So I have a way of mixing up letters in my head. And I just say it like that. Re hitting my head at the gym truly rerouted all of my speaking back to that and i can't Listen. even remember what i was saying the other day but i kept mixing up the letters <laughs> you just have to talk and not be correct earlier today i was trying to form a sentence at work and the only thing that was coming out of my mouth was don't you know <laughs> me that's a direct quote me that's absolutely me, because that was just me trying to do the, uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas, but I kept going, have your merry, I don't know what to say, because my brain's off, and then- Yeah, the words just don't come out of my water. Oh, it's just me now, boys and girls. <sighs> well, since it's just us, let's, um- I don't know what to do. I think eventually she'll come back. She has to come back to end the recording because I don't think, I don't think I can end the recording. Um, 
we're definitely not going to be able to end our um, end with our th our theme song because I don't have access to it. But let's we're gonna have some silent Haley time, except not silent. We're gonna have a secret Haley bit that Megan won't know about. I'm gonna text her and ask her if she's able to rejoin though. All right. So we're going to do a secret Haley bit and I'm going to go through my notes app and I'm just going to read some notes that I've put in here forever ago. I put in here forever ago. <clears throat> so we're just going to scroll and we're going to, we're going to, okay. Secret bit. You're doing a secret bit. Oh, are you back? I, I think I am. Oh, I can hear you. Okay, oh I was just, I was telling them that it was just me and them and I was going to do a secret bit, but then I had to text you. Um, my <laughs> secret bit was I was going to go through and read a couple of um, notes from my notes app. <laughs> <laughs> After we discussed, you have all your suicide notes in there? I wasn't going to read the suicide note. <laughs> I was going to read the fact that um, on August 5th, 2020, I put in my notes app, Dickie Mole Rat. What the fuck? And I know, I know I put that in there with you. We were talking about something. I also have in here, uh, bowling balls are just jawbreakers for the brave. Okay. Okay. I have... Um, my birth was a war crime. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I, I have um, our strip club slash coffee shop joint <gasps> business that you and I came up with that oh we were going to call Hose and Joe. Oh my god. <laughs> now we need to do that. Is this coming back to Podcast you? Podcast on the side. <sighs> podcast on the side i have ooh, i have <laughs> uh, i have um hamilton lyrics <laughs> oh of course you do <laughs> love it love it hold on hold on i think i have to do i have to do one i ooh. have stop and shot <laughs> which is my idea <laughs> But we went to the bar the one night, and I said we sh there should be a roadside bar, and it's like a drive through, and it's basically like a lemonade stand, where you drive by <laughs> and you take a shot, <laughs> which is not good, and the insurance on that place would be awful. Oh, there wouldn't be insurance on that place. No. <laughs> it's gonna be like a rickety car like wood sign. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna change locations every hour, yes. so the cops can't catch up with us. Yeah, it's gonna be a wheel. I have. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a rolly cart like our hot dog cart. Yeah. <laughs> I have. Um, and this is a this is a line that a man sent to me once, that I mm -hmm. thought was just so good that I had to write it down. Um. It says, "Even in your weakest moments, your body will always have time for me." It's so, I saved it specifically because I was like, I could write that into some smut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, the only thing I have is from 2021. And it's all poetry. 2021, 2022. Just all poetry. Um, I have text drafts. Oh my, I do have those too. <laughs> but I, I feel like I delete a lot of them. I don't. I keep them all in here. Um, I have one that just says, I was happier in my dream last night than when I woke up. Oh, uh, <laughs> me. Me for real, for real. Except my dreams, I've told you this, I take melatonin to go to bed, and for some reason, okay, last night's dream was fucking wacky as fuck. I, what happened? Okay, so I was Nancy Drew. I mm -hmm. was Nancy Drew, mm -hmm. and you know the boys... The boy version of Nancy Drew. Nathan Drew? 
No. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I forget what they're called. Uh, the, the, the boy version Nancy Drew. <laughs> Is it like how the Powerpuff Girls boy version is the Rowdy Hardy boys. boys? The Hardy oh, Boys. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was Joe Hardy and Parker Stevenson. They're her friends. They te- I think they technically came before Nancy Drew. But I still think of them as the boy version of Nancy Drew. But I was Nancy Drew and I was seeing a boy and he dies. In a plane crash, and I'm devastated. Like, Tragic. It. I. I thought this was real. Now all of a sudden, there's a ghost version of him, and I'm going around like the school, and there's a swimming pool, and my oldest sister is there, and then all of a sudden at my grandparents' house, and then I, it's like it just keeps changing scene, but it always comes back to the scene of a plane, like destroyed. And the dead body of one of the Hardy Boys, who apparently I was dating, in the plane. And when I tell you, melatonin gives me the weirdest fucking dreams of my entire life, but I sleep like a rock. I don't wake up. (laughs) I get the best sleep I have ever needed in my life. But I have to deal with the consequences of looking at someone's dead body as Nancy Drew. (laughs) <laughs> and I, I forgot what, what was the dream last night I think I told you or the other night because I know I told you I don't think it's in our, our chat anymore but oh my god I'm just I don't what well, I don't know why my brain does that I don't know where it comes up with this I don't either. Melatonin does give me weird dreams. I either get really weird dreams or I wake up an hour after falling asleep and then I cannot fall back asleep. I don't- I used to do that. I don't know what happened, but I don't anymore. I just sleep through the night and I never wake up and I just have to deal with the consequences of my actions. And, um, oh, I remember what it was. Zayn Malik died in my other oh, dream. Yeah. And I was watching One Direction give a in memoriam performance for their friend Zayn Malik. And, like, what do you I, think they would sing? Do you think they would? Was, was One Direction the one that did I Wanna Be Forever Young? They, I think that's a cover. Oh, do you think they would recover that? Yes. At his, um... Do I think it would be insensitive? Funeral yes. <laughs> Do I think it would be funnier? Okay. Uh, Note that I'm not so being funny. serious right now. I would not... If Zayn Malik died, this is... I don't... Don't take me seriously. Do I think it would... Do I think it'd be funny to play a song off their album Midnight Memories? Yes. Or not Midnight Memories. This is the album Made in the A.M., Made in the after Malik is what I like to call it. <laughs> Long way down would, or if I could fly. <gasps> hey Angel, oh no, I did not uh, listen to this album, so I know what none of these songs sound like. I think they should play uh, "Heart Attack." Ow! And <laughs> best song <laughs> ever. <laughs> hey, could you, you imagine? Die, if I die before you, can you make sure they play "Staying Alive" as I'm being lowered into the ground? Oh yeah, I'll make sure of it. <laughs> Just make sure to put it in your will so I remember. Uh, okay. I don't want to be buried, so I don't either. But I, I told you, it has to be circumstantial. Like, if How I did I not run out of room for bodies. You're. I don't know. It's because we keep making. I think it's the least like. Like, we're going to eventually. Do you think they're just burying us on top of really old bodies? Probably. That's potential. That, like, the grave markers have just gone away? Yeah, probably. Oh, I went from my notes app to another app, but I stopped on this note that says every food can be a soup, salad, or sandwich. Oh. And I listed out ravioli is a sandwich, chicken alfredo is a salad, Fruitcake oh. is a salad, and Jello is a soup. <laughs> mm, soup. Ravioli is a soup, though. 
I would like to mention that. I think ravioli would be a sandwich. No I... sauce, just the ravioli itself. Oh, just the ravioli itself? Well, it's kind of a hot pocket. But a hot pocket is just a sandwich. I mean, you're right. When you're right, yeah. you're right. Every f- um, if I'm putting every food into the category of soup, salad, or sandwich, salad is going to be the biggest category, I believe. Well, yeah, because it's just a mixture of things. Like, I feel... Oh, what was I just going to say? <gasps> Pasta's kind of a salad, in a way. Because like there spaghetti? is pasta salad. Yeah, there is, but like spaghetti, kind of a salad. If you put it's meat in it, it's a, it has multitudes of things. Yeah, I and mean, you put cheese in pasta, it, and there's cheese in salads sometimes. The spaghetti is a sa- is a salad because the p- spaghetti sauce is just a dressing. You're right, it is. Hot dog is a sandwich. We talked about this in my uh, what is it called? My philosophy of religion class, which is a three hundred class, by the way. Like it's a it's a very important class to the college I went to, and we talked about this for so long. Like, if, because he was asking, is hamburger a sandwich? And I said, well, yeah, it is, because it's, like, it just is. It has two pieces of bread, there's meat in the middle. I'm like, I work as a cook, it's a sandwich. And he was like, but you call the the patty a hamburger? I'm like, yeah, because that's just what it is. You call a turkey sandwich a turkey sandwich, it has turkey in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get where he's coming from, like, you don't say a hamburger sandwich, but some people do. (laughs) Yeah. Like, and I'm like, a a burger salad? No. There is hamburger soup, though. Yes, there is. And hamburger soup is delicious. uh, Next year, I also have my... I think I put this in a mental note. I want to make more soup next year. (gasps) Oh, yes. I want to make... I specifically want to make buffalo chicken soup for everyone so they all get to experience it. Do you want to do cooking classes with me? Yeah! Absolutely! Is that something we should do? I I think so. (sighs) The shitty thing is, is, like, I want to do more friend dates with you, but Absolutely. then I'm like... We don't have much time that also... Because it would, it'd have to be Saturday or Sunday morning. Yeah. I'm... Or Wednesday or Thursday night. Yeah, that's the only issue. Like, it, it really... We have a really, like... Sh- that's why we didn't go hiking at all this year, because the only day we could go is Sunday morning, and it was always fucking raining. Yeah. I mean, we could do Saturday mornings, but it's like... Because then also we have to be people that wake up early. Yeah, you and I can do that night. now. But I do work at night. That's the only issue. I want to, because last summer they tried to get me off on Fridays. but Because they said they wanted me to hang out with my friends. But I'm like, my friend works on Friday. So yeah. I can't hang out with her. Like, how, how's that Your helping Your friend me? works a stereotypical nine to five. Yeah, like, I don't, like, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to be hanging out with my friend. I'm just going to be sitting at home. And they're like, why? I'm like, because I have one fucking friend, and she works on Fridays. Yeah, you dumb ass bitches. Day. I might convince them to let me have off a weekend day. I think, well, what would be more cost effective for you? Like, taking off a Sunday and then being I on on a Tuesday? Well, I already work Tuesdays, so. Oh, right, you're Wednesday and Thursday. I literally just fucking said that. Well, I wonder if I can get off on, like, Sunday. And then I'd have Sunday, Monday. What, have like Sunday, Monday off? Yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe that would work. But it just sucks because I'm like, like there, I'm like, like the only other cook besides one other person, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I mean, like, it doesn't all fall on you to have to pick up the shellac. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it shouldn't. But it does, in a way. Because they don't want to take responsibility. Talking about responsibility being taken. Responsibilities. Well, maybe and if you I... should apply at the other restaurant that's hiring that I saw a job posted for, and indeed. I think uh, they're they had awful the... down there, though. Are they? Yeah, because uh, my one co-worker worked there. And she was mm. like, they probably are the worst people ever. And she was like, that's why I quit. She was like, I made a fuck ton of money. But I couldn't stay there anymore. Yeah, I mean, but what else is your 20s about other than working shitty jobs that you don't like? Killing yourself. Um. It's the perfect time. 27, baby. No. (laughs) What do you mean 27? Isn't that like a popular time when people die? 
Yeah, you joined the 27 Club, but last yeah. I checked, you don't own any white lighters, and we are uh, only 24. We're, we're, we're only 24. Your 20s. You said your 20s in general. Well, yeah, but if you're specifically doing the 27 Club, you have to be 27. You have three yeah. years. So I got three years to fuck it that up, That doesn't huh? mean- No. <laughs> you have to stay alive. As long as I'm alive, you have to live. Ah, uh, fair enough. If I have to suffer through this planet, then so do you. Sorry. Okay. Womp I think womp. we I think we have to end this one. We do. We've been going. We've an been hour going for and twenty three thirty. Minutes. Something like that. Oh wait, twenty three, you can actually look. I see it. Okay. Well, listeners, we talked a fuck ton this episode. We did. Um, we might continue afterwards, but you won't hear those conversations. No, you won't. This one's for me and Haley and not This you. is a secret conversation Ooh. and you're not invited. This is a special podcast bit, but it's, you have to guess what we said afterwards and we won't <laughs> confirm or deny.